is over three months since the death of Karen Hapok Akbaga, a 14-year-old SS1 student of Premier Academy, Lube. The late student was allegedly raped in her school, which led to her death on the 22nd June 2021. Now, the family is seeking justice, and to achieve that, the family has written a petition to the Inspector General of Police accusing the FCT Police Command of compromising the case. Baya Mohammed reports. On the 22nd of June 2021, Karen Hapoch died following medical complications arising from sepsis, according to a report by the clinic where she died. But the management of Premier Academy allegedly denied that Karen was sick and refused to allow her mother, Viviana Paga, pick her up when she came to the school after getting a tip-off that her daughter was sick. One of the school's matron assured Mrs. Apaga that Karen was well and writing her continuous assessment tests. Since Karen's death, there has been back and forth about who is responsible for her death, with Karen's parents insisting their daughter was raped while in the school's custody, a crime which finally led to her death. The school denies this and has even tendered to the media an autopsy it says it was released by the Nigerian police which indicates that Karen's death was caused by complications arising from diabetes. The family claims the police is denying giving such an autopsy to Premier Academy to publish. These contradictions concerning the autopsy is why the family believes the investigation in Karen's death has been compromised by the FCT Police Command. The family is appealing to the Ministry of Justice to come to their aid by ensuring justice is served. Civil society organizations are giving their support to this appeal to the Ministry of Justice and well-meaning Nigerians to ensure Karen's case is not another statistics on the sexual gender-based violence case. They want a change in the narrative this time around that will see the perpetrators are brought to justice. I really don't um, know what the police and the school are playing. That was what made us write a petition to the IGP asking that the case be moved from the FCT command to the force headquarters, which I, he has um, obliged us. And we have been called to the, F, um, the force headquarters on homicide. Monday, tomorrow, homicide department tomorrow. Everywhere in the world, it is not a privilege, it is a right that medical and autopsy reports of a disease must first and foremost be handed over to the family. The school should remember they have children. It can happen to their child. And the people that know the truth and have kept quiet, it can be your child or it can even be you next time. The family of the disease want truth to be told, culprits identified to face the full wrath of the law. Maria Mohammed, TVC News, Abuja.